Hello everybody, this is Nora with NAQ57 and today I have a fall tutorial for you. So I'm going to show you how I went about creating these duochrome fall leaves on my natural nails. And out of these four polishes, this one number five, I actually did not get to use that one. I only used this one number two and the number three. And so here I am going with this shade of Barriel absolutely love Barriel's formula. Do any of you have any of Barriel's polishes? I swear by their formula. Them and Zoya are my favorite, but I actually favor Barriel over Zoya. And this black one, I didn't get to show you what it was, but it was simple colors, black and black. I forgot that I actually need to start out with a black base before using these duochrome regular polishes. And then my stamping plate is this good old floral BPX L018 from Born Pretty Store. An oldie book, but goodie. I've had it for, I think this plate is a year old or two. And yes, I did my stamping on this regular stamper, or my this is my creative shop stamper, um, because I wanted to create a sticker. And I find, I don't know if, if you guys have the same issue, but my silicone stampers, any of the clear stampers, to create stickers and try to put any clear top coat on them, it just, it doesn't stick. So, and as we know, because the duochromes look better over a black base, that's why I went went with the back on the backing with the black polish and then with my clear wet and wild to create the sticker and from the same plate I used this image for my other two fingers and yeah I have totally forgot to put my little piece of tape out to clean up the stamper so I use my thumb and after this image has dried or my sticker has dried you peel it off of peel it off with the stamper so then, then I can put it on the clear stamper and make it easier for placement. You just have to be very careful here not to stretch and pull on your image there. It was a little bit sticky on that side. There are the pretty leaves and then I just it stuck really well to my nail even though in here guys oh I am always so scared to cut my nail. This is hard to do on the camera because usually I have to bring my hands to my face to do this. So yes, I finished it off camera and then I went on with the acetone to clean up and make, make it neater. And I repeated the same for the other nail. I finished everything with my favorite stitch feet top coat for all the nails and that is all for this tutorial if you guys have any questions please leave them below and i'll be happy to answer i hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and thank you for watching